I was good, y'all. It's your boy Riz, aka RSD, representing 88.1 FM KZSC Santa Cruz College Radio, and also No Platform. And right now I'm with Young Murph, the kid, aka YMTK, aka Murphy Pan, aka the Smoking Sapien. How you doing today, man? Damn, you got it right, bro. That's for real. I'm, I'm great. I'm great. What's up? I'm blessed, bro. Thank you, you for fucking with me. No problem. I've been a big fan of you since uh, Broad Life. Oh yeah, for sure. I could tell. You start calling me the Smoking Sapien and shit. I'm like, oh, he tapped in. What's up? That's love. Thank you. So can you tell me what was going on today at Oakland? Landish. Today at Oaklandish, I had a listening session for uh, me and my homie Exact project called Nine Song Wave. Uh, it's an EP, nine songs, and I just wanted to come back home to the town and play it for my people right quick and see what people responded to, what people would dance to, and just kind of get a vibe for what they were feeling, you know, as we move forward and pick the tracks. Mm-hmm. I think you mentioned you were looking for like an island vibe inside uh, Oaklandish. Uh, why is that? Man, honestly, bro, I just hella relate to being by the water and like like a tropical feel, just like my vibe is like that yeah it's it's it's, it's come out of my music it's I see okay, a okay. yeah man i uh I, I was blessed to be able to travel uh and hit like rio and, yep. and maui and yep. waikiki just like i was going to a lot of like exotic places and i've been able to travel i've been blessed to be able to travel you know outside of the country too and it's just been real smooth to like be inspired from different places island island culture and like that vibe that that sound it hella resonates with me you feel me and i feel like there's a there's a bridge between like you know like the east oakland WAP and like island shit you know what i'm saying so that's really that's where it come from i interviewed rex life raj about two three weeks ago when he came out to santa cruz with a more than anything tour and also saw you last Saturday performing live yeah. at the Regency. That was lit. He talked about the Emoji Goats project. Can you talk about how you linked up with Rex Life Raj and the Emo- Emoji Goats project from your perspective? Man, I've been knowing Raj for a minute now. I first heard of him. He was writing all of my homegirl Aliki shit. He was like writing and producing her stuff and she told me about Rex Life and then my homie Simba was like, yo, you gotta fuck with this cat Raj. Like, y'all styles is hella similar. Like, y'all vibe is similar. Just, I think y'all would really resonate, like connect. And I was like, okay, for sure. But I wasn't really trying to fuck with other people. And Raj hit me one time, like, yo, I wanna send you some shit. And I was like, okay, for sure. He sent me some shit and the first song we ever did was Miss and that was you know on his previous project and uh from there we just kind of like developed a relationship and he's just somebody i just vibe with just as a person he hella cool and hella just intelligent so like i feel like uh our vibes as human beings and musically just hella like coincide so it's just easy it's easy making music with that cat hell yeah so i believe you've been make- making music for about six seven plus years now yeah. from broad life to all the right places to songbird and now emoji goats yeah. can you talk about the growth in between every project to now um, man, bro, I'm always trying to not necessarily reinvent myself, but tap into different sides of creativity. Like, as you know, Broad Life, I was rapping a lot and I was like writing the singing parts for other people. And then I transitioned to Songbird, where I wanted to like write songs that people sang back to me. I wanted to let it be known like I was a songbird out here. You feel me? I just really can like write songs and I just wanted to sing at that point. And then All the Right Places was me being exp- like just inspired by all. I just wound up in all these right places to be inspired to make this kind of music. Um, and Emoji Ghost was just like us being based. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure. that's just us being based, man. That's us, like me and Raj, we're kind of based cats, so right on. All right, in an interview with Thizzler, you mentioned that you started making music because you won a $250 voucher at a talent show singing music, Soul Child. And is that when you realized you wanted to make music or pursue that passion? Yeah, yeah, I think that's when uh, it peaked. It definitely peaked my interest. The fact that somebody like recognized me on that level when I had been recognized for Hoop for so long, like my whole life, it really kind of made me be like, oh man, maybe I can do this. And uh, I just started trying to do it more and more. You feel me? Hell, it's failure and success. So I also saw in another interview that your mother is a professional gospel singer. And you said in an interview that you like making feel good music. Well, I'm not saying all the rappers uh, in the Bay Area make mob or hyphy music, but there are other musicians like Collaborate, Illuje, 108K, Rex Life Raj who are making more lyrical and you as described feel good music. Mm-hmm. How do you feel like being yourself and not making that like hyphy mob music in the Bay Area, which the Bay Area is known for? Man, it's crazy because everybody you mentioned, like I have a personal relationship with and them niggas is hyphy as fuck. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's not like you can't be hyphy and make the kind of music that we make. It's just more so it's like there's more to us than just that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we hella like authentically from the Bay and like, you know, people resonate, like things resonate with us. Like we can connect to like the Bay Area, like that energy that's in hyphy, hyphy music and like just like that, that rawness. You feel me? Like we hella connect with that. I know I can. I can speak for myself personally. I can. But it's not like maybe that's, that's just not what I'm supposed to be making. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I can vibe to that, like, what I'm supposed to be making is what I do. So, you know, I think I think it's very important to just have your own kind of lane and, like, create your own kind of, like, individual sound and just, like, who you are and bring something different. And so that's what I've been trying to do. Hell yeah. Very exciting. Can you talk about your friendship with the Honor Roll crew, Trackademics, Drew Banger, who I saw in here earlier, and One Away K, who I interviewed two months ago? Man, it's crazy, bro. We, our vibe just hella just, it just makes sense. We just hella vibe as, as just people, bro, as human beings, man. Um, those are my family. Like, if there's anybody out here that I feel like hella aligns with, like, just me and, like, how I feel and shit, it's probably those cats, you know? And, like, you know, the HBK cats, all my homies, the Danny cats, like, it all makes sense. But, like, those are somebody in, in, in recent years, you know, like, where it really just hella made sense for us to all click up. All right, can you talk about your friendship uh, with my homie Jamie right here? Uh, yeah, hey, so Calais sent me this song that I did for him that I forgot who's supposed to hop on it, like Cool John or something. He sent me the song back, and it was this kid on there gassing. And I was like, yo, who is this kid? And he was like, oh, yeah, that's the, the young homie Jamie from Vallejo. There's this crazy budding scene in Vallejo right now. You got to tap in and see what's going on. He was like, he got this one song called Edibles that's crazy. And so he put me on. I peeped the song. And it was just hella tight. And I was like, yo, bro, this cat is like, he's like a young me and Raj. And you know what I'm saying? Like all those cats that you talked about, like not to make him us or like say that, you know what I'm saying? But just like, he just reminded me of that vibe. So I reached out, you feel me? Like it's important for me to like reach out to young cats like that and just fuck with them. Because when I was coming up, as you as you know, like there wasn't really a lane for the kind of shit that, I, that we do. You know what I'm saying? Like I was kind of like the oddball out. It was only that mob shit. It was only hyphy shit. It was only party shit. So, like, anytime I see somebody where it makes sense, like an Elu J, like, yeah. when I seen him, it was like, yo, we got to fuck with it. And anytime I see that and I feel like there's a vibe there, I'll try to reach out, man. And so, yeah, me and Jamie, got a, we got a slap on the way. Shout out, shout out the young boy. Uh-huh. Hey, shout out, Jamie. Y'all go ahead, y'all go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 she got to uh-uh, uh-uh. If you had a Raiders one on, you could go. <laughs> it's bad. All right, I watched interviews with your group, uh, the Dannon. Yeah. And the, oh, there's an interview of All the Right Places as you explained in that interview. And you mentioned that you were going through it. Can you go more in depth of what you were going through at the time? I've had hella ups and downs, you know what I'm saying, where I've been, like, doing terrible, you know, financially. Um, but what I can say is God always makes a way, man. If you're passionate about what you're doing and you're doing it, like, all we really control is our attitude and our effort in this life. If you have a positive attitude and you put forth maximum effort, you feel me, you keep God first, it all all the other shit don't matter, man. He's always made a way for me, so that's what that's what I can say. What do you do right before you perform? Do you pray? Do you like eat a meal? Do you drink your favorite soda or something, or what's up? I don't really have too much of a routine. I don't really like, even though routine is good, I don't really like getting into routines a lot of time. Um, but I definitely try to pray before every single performance. Um, that's important for me. M- mostly just, you know, definitely like, yo, God, help me remember my lyrics and like make everybody have fun and stuff like that. But I always pray for everybody to get home safe. You feel me? Like that's always important for me. So, yeah. Which Bay Area artist do you wish to work with that you have not worked with yet? Dead or alive, though? E-40. E-40 is somebody that I haven't fucked with yet that I hella want to fuck with. I really want to get him on that song, Show Love, that I played inside. I think that, slapper. I think that that shit would go crazy. So, 40, if you out there, fuck with me, man. You feel me? I'll talk. What, what improvements can you make going forward from here on out in in life-wise or just music, uh, music-wise? In life-wise, I feel like I can be a little bit more organized. And in music, I think I should rap more. I need to be more organized. I need to, like, read more, work out, and just, you know, like, have more of a routine. Like, we were talking about, I need a little bit more of that. But um, music-wise, I think I need to rap more. Now that I got more of this melody shit out the way, I'm going to rap more. Because cats be like, bro, what's up? You ain't gassing no more. And that's starting to make me feel a certain way. 
And then where can people find you on social media, your website, everything? Um, my website is ymtk.me. And if you Google YMTK, you'll find my Instagram and Twitter. Everything is like I underscore AM underscore YMTK. I am YMTK. Um, yeah, man, holler at me. The internet is pretty easy. You can find me. All right, shout out Oaklanders today and shout out YMTK. Locking down this interview. Killed it inside. Make sure to watch out for that nine track album song wave coming out soon follow ymtk on all socials thank you so much man for this thank interview you, man shout out santa cruz man i'm a b- banana slug you feel me till i Bro. die yeah off top man i thought that's why you was fucking I, with me dog. i knew right because you was on i did the show at the catalyst i was like hold on bro where's this cat out yeah, here so, yeah man yeah, i go to school out there right now for sure for sure no, man thank you so much thank you bro all right, y'all we out